Well, we've got a new edition, as everyone can see. This is a 1998 uh, VT Calais. It's not perfect. You can see that it's clearly had some touch-ups and things. The clear coat's also not perfect either. You can see it's um, starting to bubble here. And strange things have happened to it, like... It looks like someone's got a jax or something onto it. Or well, not jax, that's steel wool. Um, a a um, scotch pro. But anyway, the paint itself's okay. It looks like it's dodgy here, but it's... I think it's more that the clear coat's bubbled, and that's why it looks white. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to tell, but yeah. It's, so the guard, I'm going to actually get it re-cleared. It's got, I believe they're VYSS mags, but someone watching will know more about it than I do. They're obviously not original, they're 18-inch wheels. And the windscreen's buggered. You can see the big arcs that are in it. Um, these front doors are not perfect. I actually got to disarm the alarm because it has one and I don't want to set it off again. But the front doors are the only downside on this whole car. See, it's, they're corroded here. And this happens because dirt builds up or leaves build up. These plugs here, it's actually written in the workshop manual that you're supposed to remove these and give these a hose out. There's no rust on the car anywhere. I've had a very thorough check except both front doors. The rear doors are okay. Um, there's no corrosion anywhere here. I can't get myself down here very well. You can see there's a little bit of... Then you probably can't, but you could, yeah, there you go. You can see there's a little bit of dirt hanging around those drain holes. Um, yeah, it's also had a small hit there at some stage. I don't know what's happening there. Nah, not sure. It sort of doesn't really matter. I can have that straightened. The door's straight. So I don't know what's happening there, but anyway, it's just, they're just VT doors. Same with this, it's the clear coats coming off. Same on this spoiler, you can see it's coming off. I'll come back a bit. I don't know how well this will come out, because I don't have my torch on me. Probably abhorrently, but... As you can see, the exhaust, don't know how well this is going to show up. Obviously something going on there, you can see that... You know, that's the single bit that goes to the tailpipe. But you can see there are two mufflers. There's one there, one there. You can see that there's also two cat converters. One there, and one there. This camera's going flat, so if it cuts out abruptly, you'll know why. Um, the interior is not bad. You know, it's, it's an old car, so the driver's seat's got a bit of wear on it. But it's not bad. Also, I have to get this um, steering wheel retrimmed. It's actually leather. But you can see, it's pretty nice. Um, this car didn't cost me a lot. I've already fixed a few things on it. I've got some of these vacuum lines. These right angles are transitions from plastic pipes to, you know, a manifold. Here's, here's a pipe here. This one just fell off, like... Yeah, it rained like crap by the time I got it here, and that's why. The, um, the back of it's even better. Like the seats are in really good condition. The front ones, I don't know if I could find better ones, but I'm not really concerned, because they're both pretty good. They're both reasonable. It's got... Let me get this camera. It's got 233,652 kilometres on it. The engine's pretty quiet. Um, it has a slight tap in the top end of the engine, which I'm going to explain in a sec. Yep, this is the source of the tap. Um, apparently these 8 on M90 superchargers have what they call a coupling block. And I believe it's to, um, maybe allow for misalignment in the drive, or maybe just to isolate it slightly for noise purposes. I'm not sure, but anyway... The coupling blocks wear out, um, and the kit's sixty dollars. It comes with a bearing, two bearings, which I'm assuming is one here and one there, and I'm assuming a seal. I don't really know. Um, and you have to buy supercharger oil because that's what this plug is for to fill it up. To I'm assuming just till it starts to come out. That's the only downside to the engine. It's had a water pump recently, as you can see. Um, 
I have to have a look at this because this pulley doesn't seem to run very concentric. Like if you have it running, you can just see that it just has a bit of a, you know, like it's not quite dead centre. I've taken it down to the car wash and given the engine a blast. Not the top end or the bottom end that was greasy. But the aircon works, drives pretty well. There's some videos you guys are going to be able to see at some point after I shoot them. Sway bar link bushes are buggered, they're tapping, or knocking I should say. You can see the um, caster rod bush there is just hammered, like it's just screwed. Um, this one isn't really better. But you can see these are different to a VS. They're very easy to change, they kind of bolt in. Um, it's a bit oily under here, but I didn't degrease it, I just blasted it. Uh, it's had pretty good maintenance done on it over the years. It isn't due for a service till, um, I don't know, the 9th of this year. Um, the ninth month, that is. But this is the vacuum lines I replaced. Now, this hose is incorrect. It's got a slight kink in it, but it is working. It is allowing vacuum to go through. I could put a cable tie on there and keep it round, but see, the pipe that came off it was one of the ones I showed you guys. And that pipe, you know, had a bend in it already. There's not really a good way of replacing it, except with another pipe exactly the same. It's a bit like this duct here. This duct is stuffed, it's actually got a slight split. It isn't split all the way through. If it did, it would run like a bag of crap and have lack of power. This actually has more power since I replaced all of these. See these ends that couple this plastic hose to here? This is the wrong diameter hose here. It should be this diameter. But that's all I had. Um, actually stole all those bits of hose off the um, dark green VS, but I'm going to replace those bits from the smashed VS. Um, it's got a few things, like this screw here obviously should be tight. I don't know why it isn't. Someone's taken it off to replace a radiator and they haven't tightened it back up. This radiator doesn't look that old. To me it looks like it's pretty new. Um, yeah, the cap's obviously an old piece of shit. You know, if your cap looks like that, I mean, come on. It holds pressure and it also has coolant in it. Although the bottle doesn't seem to have much in it, so I don't think the mechanic put any in there, and it looks icky. So that bottle needs to be probably removed and cleaned out. That's fine. But the mechanic didn't even top up that bottle and didn't even notice the great big vacuum leak under the bonnet because it was missing badly by the time I'd driven it here and given it a flogging. You know, things moving around. But this valve here... I might be incorrect, but I think what this valve does, it, it's um, it's spring loaded, um, but I believe it's I believe the vacuum pulls it open. Um, so it, when you, well, I'm not really sure, but it's a bypass valve for the supercharger for when you're cruising, so it doesn't make any boost whatsoever when you're cruising up the highway, and it just saves fuel a bit. Um, so that's what the valve does. I'm not sure how it works exactly, but the valve has a vacuum line on this side of the diaphragm. And as you can see, there's another one right down there that's on the other side of the diaphragm. So, um, you know, don't ask me exactly how it works. It looks to me like it's vacuum assist on and off kind of thing. So I might be wrong. Someone's gonna have a greater truth. The engine is an L67 supercharged V6. I believe it's just an American engine. I'm not sure how much of this engine's been designed here or whatever um, but yeah thanks for watching, I'm not going to ramble on for too long yep so expect to see some repair videos of this also plastic headlights easy to fix so I'm going to show you guys how to fix these for quite a lot longer than polishing them would last